Hello everyone, it's 5M Creation. Today, I'll be showing you how to install the Bean Menu for 5M. And before we get started, I just want to let y'all know that I have my own 5M server that I'm trying to populate. If you guys would like to join it, it's San Andreas Adams Roleplay, show up on screen. I have the join link down in the description below, and I also have the Discord down in the description below. It'd be cool if you guys check it out, and let's get on with the video. So, first off, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your browser. It doesn't matter where you open it. Google Chrome, GX Opera. Microsoft, Firefox, doesn't matter. Just open up a, a searching engine. Now go up to your search engine and type in V menu. And if V menu doesn't pop up, uh, it should, but if it doesn't, type in V menu 5M. Uh, I'll also just leave the link in the description below. So what you want to do is you want to click the first link by Tom Grove. Now what you want to do is when you get on this page, you want to see releases. You want to click right here on V menu. You want to scroll down until you see vmenu uh, zip. So once you see that, this is the latest one. Latest updated. So we have this now. You can just minimize it or exit out. doesn't matter. Now vmenu should be in your downloads tab or wherever you put it. So now you want to extract your vmenu file that you just downloaded. Um, I use WinRAR. I'll leave it down in the description below. Uh, all you want to do is right click on it, extract files. Hit OK. Wait for it. Now that you have this, you can open up a separate file folder. Go down to where you have your server data at. So we go back. I'll go back to my downloads tab. Over here to TX TX data. Don't click the server one. This is just the mainframe for your server and just start it. Uh, for you to add your resources in, you want to go to TX data. CFX default resources, and then right here you want to type in V lowercase V capital E and then lowercase E. E N U, those three are lowercase after them. After that, you want to go back to your extracted 5M file, click on it, Control A, copy it. Oh, Control, no, wrong. Control A, Control C, or right click copy. Go back over to your resource file, go click the V menu, hit paste. Oh, that should be right there. Now we don't need this one no more. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go to config, permissions, we're going to cut it. Back out the V menu, resources, CFX default, and right here where your main server config is, just hit paste. Now from right here, what you want to do is put go into your server tab. So open this up. Uh, I'll also leave this in the link description below. It's called visual code. What you want to do here is after endpoint, you want to control C, you want to copy it. So you want for F2 on that, control C, copy the name of it, and go down and type in EXEC, meaning execute tab, control V dot CFG. So this will just make sure uh, once we get the steam. Steam identifiers will be able to locate who's admin and who's not. So for the V menu, and for here, just control, control S, control S to save if you want to, or you can go to file and hit save. And now you want to go back to your resource tab. You want to press on V menu. You want to F2, control C. You just want to copy it. Go down to your resource. We'll start by default. Hit enter below. Ensure V menu now control S or you can hit save all by your file. Now for organization purposes later in the videos I'll be showing you like scripts, cars, and like weapons. It's gonna be, it's gonna be different. Uh, just for like organization purposes only. And now from here we keep this tab open if we want to. We're gonna need to put something in here. From here, we're gonna open up V menu. Go to config. Oh, 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 oh. You want to go to oh, not server. You want to go to permissions. My bad. So you want to go to permissions. <coughs> Aaron, from right here, if you guys want to, for the menu key, put it to 288. It'll be F1. But if you want to keep it at 244, that would be your M. Uh, when you press it, so M. But uh, if you want to change your v menu to f1 you can just 
put it to 288. That's the key line for F1. Now scroll all the way down here, right here, group.admin. So this is what I do just to make it easier. I'll just tab, actually, no, I'll tab right here. So moderator just gives you different. So it goes admin, moderator, moderator being the second rank, admin being the first rank. And here's your ad principles for it. We'll go more in depth in a later video, but everything that moderator has, admin has, but whatever admin has, admin has it. No, not moderator, because it's, it's below the moderator. And uh, for here, I'm going to copy group.admin, and I'm going to paste it. And now for the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Steam, go to over here, go to DevGuru, go to view my profile. You want to view your profile, and you just want to right-click somewhere over here where it says copy page URL. So just copy your page URL. Once that, you just minimize that. Open up your browser and open up Steam ID Pro. This is this is my you can use back band or whatever you want, but this one's easier. It gives you your 5MX and all that. I'll leave it in the link description down below. Control V, so put in your lookup, control V, hit lookup. Boom, has it right here. You have your Steam IDs, you have all this cool stuff. You're in good standings, and it has your 5M and hex. So you're gonna hit copy, or you can just go from the S and to the last digit number, hit control C, minimize. And from C, you wanna, from the Steam right here, from the new one, you want control V. And for also organized organization purposes only, I would go over and I'd put in, or actually, actually just put it put my uh put the name who's the character who has the admin for me and it and it goes with all of uh it was moderator players too it's the same same exact thing you just add your principal find their steam id and copy these these last two and you just hit and just copy it if you guys get the deal and that right there is pretty much all you need to do go over here back here over here to server and I don't believe you have to put anything for ad system admins. Or actually, yeah, you do. I'm stupid. You want to go back to your Steam. You want to hit copy or you want to paste this again. Might minimize. Go over to your 5M colon 1. So you just want to copy 5M colon 1 and then control V. Just replace it. You don't need it no more. And hit control S or you can hit save. Doesn't matter. Whatever you feel like doing. Uh, right there, you can just hit Control S. Boom! You already executed your permissions.cfg, meaning what players are allowed to access to the folders, uh, admin or moderators. And you can exit out of that, exit out of that. Or oh, actually, you can open up your tab, go back to where your server file is, and open up your FX server and let your server run. And I'll see you guys down. I'll see you guys when the server starts. All right, we're now in the game. And uh, I forgot to show you guys, but if you guys are having a problem and V menu did not start, what you guys can do is to make sure that it is that it did start. You could go over to where uh, where it's creating script or scanning for resources found 26. So what you guys can do is you guys can scroll down to the to the bottom almost, and there should be it should say started resource V menu. So that means the V menu has started. And if you guys are in game right now, you guys could either, if you guys change your button from 244 to 288, that'll be your F1. So you press F1, but if you guys did not press it or change it, you guys can press M and your V menu will change up. And uh, I'll also leave in the description down below the control stocks for your keyboard. So if you guys want to change it to any other button on your keyboard, you guys can change the menu, V menu to whatever you want. But I have mine set up to F1, so 288. I just called the F1 menu really. And uh, right here is your V menu. And later on the video, I'll be showing you guys how to add in uh, add-on vehicles. So I'll be showing you guys how to add on add-on vehicles, but I'll also be showing you how to add on add-on vehicles with a different menu, meaning like an add-on menu. Um, I use a separate menu in my main server. Uh, so I could, you know, just, it's, it's just easier. So the players know, hey, this is actually the add-on menu for this server, like, 
you know, Dodges, Rams, uh, you know, Alfa Romeros, Yachts, it's a whatever, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a thumbs down if you don't. Don't matter to me. I uh, hope you guys have a good Christmas. It's, it's actually Christmas now. So hope you guys had a good Christmas Eve and Christmas. I'll uh, see you guys later. Peace out.